have you changed anything about it yet? No. Okay, so think about what can I do to make it more like a bee model? What can I do to make it more like a bee and flower? Like what could I change about it? To make okay, Owen, talk to me about what did you change about the, the model to make it more accurate? So I kind of made like the wings bigger because I thought it was like unrealistic. And I made this like slightly higher, added another pair of leaves. When I added like little things here. Oh, do we know what those things are called? Like, I don't know, but like I know I'm like a flower, like there were like the pollen is. Yeah, so the pollen, uh, these little yellow pieces? Yes. Love that. And then you said you changed the code as well. So what did you change about the code? Um, so I made it go around again. So once it, like it does like, once like it goes like around once, like, and then, no, 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 then it goes around again for five seconds and then stops. Okay, awesome. Now, one thing we know about pollinators is they typically go to more than one flower. So could you build maybe another flower off on the side? So it can go to one and then the other and go back and forth? Okay. Okay. Are there two flowers? Is that what's happening? Yeah. Does he stop at any of them? Could we get him to stop at some and then pause? Him. Okay. I love the two flowers. Ours is very fragile. Wait, can you do it? Oh, so he hits the top of each of them. Yeah. That kind of gets the pollen. A lot of times the bees stop too, so I wonder how you can build in stopping. Like to pause and then get it to go and then pause. All right, show me how it works. So we have the, we have a turns and it's the timer and we have a music and make some pass it. Oh wow! Hey, stop! Someone stopped us. Hey.